Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is another great feature that has been in Windows for a long time but Windows 10 improved on it and made some changes that are really interesting and of course it adds to what is one of the great tools that a lot of Windows users actually especially tech enthusiasts will go through and check and we're talking about the task manager so if you right click on your taskbar in an empty space you will have the option to go to the task manager the task manager is the entry point where you can see the activity of your pc and hardware it is a nice resource if your computer's slow if something's wrong if you have the feel that your cpu your the fans are running all the time you're wondering what's happening here you'll have some answers especially with the processes as we'll show you what is using what, how much uh, memory is used by each process, uh, the CPU cycles, all of that, uh, graphics processor utilization, and so on. And of course, you can click on one of the columns to make it in a certain order, descending or ascending order if you want, to see which ones are using the most. In my case, it's normal. OBS Studio is recording my screen. It's using more CPU cycles. It's also using more GPU cycles, which is totally normal. Uh, so you can actually have uh, that if you want by, uh, depending on what it is, or just by name uh, on the on left side. And um, that is the default, by the way. Now, you might have noticed one thing. Some of you might have noticed, uh, not everybody. But my task manager opens directly into the performance tab. Now, this is something that was added in Windows 10. One of the features is you can actually have the default tab that you wanted to open. By default, it's processes. But I often go to the performance tab on most of my PCs to see things. Um, so I went to options at the top, and I went to default tab, and I chose performance, which means now every time I actually go and uh, start the task manager, it will start at this tab, uh, performance rather than processes. So that's one of the things that's kind of cool and was added here. Uh, the other thing that's interesting, but your computer needs to have compatible hardware because not every CPU and GPU has the information given to the task manager. But one of them is the fact that now your GPU or your CPU can actually give out the temperature. So on this machine, nothing is showing, but on my gaming machine, I could see the temperature of my GPU, for example, my gaming GPU and NVIDIA, and uh, the CPU temperature shows up also. So it all depends on the hardware that you have on your PC. The other thing that's kind of nice is that the disk now is actually, they're telling you if it's a SSD or solid state drive, or a HDD, an hard disk drive, which is a standard old, you know, disk hard drive that has a pl uh, platters and, and um, you know, read-write heads. So um, it makes a difference between what type of uh, device that you've got. So there are some improvements in here, but this is a great feature. It is an important feature. If you want to troubleshoot a little bit, if you want to see some of the activity or PC or know what's taking all of that memory or taking all of that you know, power from your CPU or GPU, the task manager, and it's improved in Windows 10 and the latest versions. So uh, it's a great, great feature. Once again, very easy to access. Right click on the taskbar at the bottom where there's nothing, go into task manager. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.